Hi everyone and welcome to your essential class today. Um, so this is going to be a really lovely just 20 minutes. Just how I like to sort of start sessions in real life actually when I'm teaching a class in real life just to really ground everyone um, and to get you ready and set up for the rest of the class but also you can do this completely on its own as well so it's really going to focus on the abdominals, on the glutes, on stability and centering with a little bit of mobility as well. So let's get started. So just come to sit at the front of your mat and we'll just take a few grounding breaths before we get moving. So just want you to put your hands on the front of your shins. Press a little bit into the hands and lift up through your spine and just close down your eyes. And just start to become aware of your breath. So breathing in and breathing out. Relaxing the neck, the jaw, shoulders. Just starting to try and let go of any tension that you might be holding onto in your body, in your mind, in your brain. Just leaving it all off the mat so that we can really efficiently move through our practice. Make the most of this time that you've given to yourself. And then on your next exhale, just nod your chin in towards your chest. Just start to let your hands just slide down towards your feet and just allowing your back to take the shape of your legs, like a little bridge. And then just take three deep breaths in this position as well. So inhaling, expanding the ribs. And exhale, see if you can stretch a little bit further forwards. Two more. And then on the next exhale, just start to round up all the way up. And then we're just going to slowly come to our mat. So maybe bring the elbows down first. And then we're just going to slowly make our way down onto our backs. So you might want to bring your elbows down first. Or maybe just practice taking your hands off of the mat and just slowly making your way down from there. And then just walk your feet in a little bit closer towards you. And we'll just start with some pelvic curls. So standing into the feet, breathing in, arms alongside the body. As you exhale, just pressing the low back into the mat and starting to peel the spine up. Inhale at the top and then just exhale and just trying to increase that mobility in your spine as you ripple down. Good, so just working from top to tail of your spine. Good, just stay at the top here. Let's just check in with this position. So knees, hips and shoulders in this long diagonal line, like someone could walk up your body like a plank and not dip down into a little dip. So just try and keep that lovely straight plank position. You can even put your hands, your arms just onto your thighs here to check. And then again, just roll it down through that mid back, lower back and tip in the pelvis back. Good, on this next one, let's hold it up there. So stretching actively through the hips, let's hold it here and then just start to activate the glutes a little bit more. So we're gonna drop down an inch and then increase the tilt of the pelvis, lift up an inch. So drop an inch and lift an inch. Good, for eight, seven, six, five, good. Keeping that chest nice and open, four, three, relaxing that neck, two, and one, and then roll all the way down. Good, finding that neutral, we're gonna go into some toe taps. So bring your legs up to tabletop position. And then as you exhale, tap your right foot to the mat and inhale, bring it back. And exhale, tap the left toe and inhale, bring it back. Good. So you can pop your hands on your pelvis or maybe one hand under the lower back, one hand on top of the tummy. Just nice and light with that toe as it taps down. Try not to put any weight on it. Four, moving from the thigh in the hip. Three, two, and one. Good, just holding that tabletop position. We're gonna keep moving, bringing the arms all the way back 
and then interlacing the hands behind your head, elbows just in your peripheral vision. We're gonna exhale as we curl off the mat and inhale as we come down. So now mobilizing the other end of the spine off the mat here. Trying to keep that tabletop position with the legs. Good. And as you come down, keep those ribs knitting towards your hips. And let's hold this next one up there. So you've got that little plum space between the chin and the chest or a little lemon. You're holding onto that fruit. And then exhale as you stretch the right leg forwards. Inhale back. Exhale, left leg forwards. Inhale back. So these single leg stretches, not allowing the weight of the leg to arch the back for four. Three, see if you can curl a little bit higher there. Two. And one. Good, just reach the hands to the shins and hug the knees in. Just have a little massage. We're gonna add on to that. So bring in the legs back up to that tabletop position, hands back behind your head, behind your skull, and then re-find your curl up. And then this time, just keep the knees nice and still next to each other. Rotate towards the right and just look past that right thigh. And then inhale, center. Exhale, rotate left. Inhale, center. So an oblique curl without pulling the head down in between. Try not to let that pelvis tip side to side. You've got four. You've got three, good, you've got two, really tough. Last one, and again, have a rest down. And now we're gonna add those two together. So the single leg stretch and the rotation to the opposite knee. So adding those two exercises together. Good, so lift those legs back up to that tabletop position, hands back behind the head. We're gonna curl forward, so this time as we rotate, right, left leg stretches away. Inhale, center as we rotate left, Right leg stretches away and center. Good. Lovely. Try not to drop the head in between. Good. Let's go one more to each side. Feeling those obliques and then just hug the knees in again and relax for a moment. And then let's bring the hands behind the back of the legs. We're going to do an assisted roll up. So just nod the chin towards the chest, round your lower back, so both ends of the spine now, and you want to rock up to seated. Good, and sit nice and tall. Lovely. From here, let's reach the arms out in front of us, going into our roll back. So we've done our pelvic curl, we've done our curl up. Now we're going to add those two exercises to create that C curve. So you're going to tilt the pelvis underneath you, round the upper body, and then take yourself back into that roll back, anchoring through the feet. Good. Inhale as you come forwards, sit tall, allow the arms to come up to extend the spine and work into the back. So we're wrapping round. Imagine you're going around a beach ball or a big Pilates ball. And coming up and reaching into the back. Good. So only take it as far back as you feel safe, you feel comfortable, but you also feel challenged. And you're maintaining that C curve. Good. And then on this next one, let's hold it back there. So staying really linear in line with the sides of your mat. We'll just take it back an inch and up an inch. Back an inch and up an inch. Eight. Seven, you can hold on if you need to. Six. Five, wrapping over. Four. Good, try not to use the legs. Last one, let's come all the way forwards and lift up through the spine. Good, just keep your feet down for a moment and cross your arms over your chest. So put one hand on one shoulder, the opposite shoulder and the other hand across. And then from here, just take a waist twist. So rotate, look over your right shoulder and twist towards the right. And then center. 
And then look over your left shoulder and twist towards the left. And then center, good. Just one more to each side. Exhale, rotate right. Inhale. Exhale, rotate left. And inhale. Now repeating that, we're gonna reach the arms forwards, roll back, cross the arms back over. We're gonna do those rotations again. Rotate right, so you're in this roll back now. And add in those rotations, rotate left. And center, rotate right. Good, trying to keep the knees nice and level with each other. One more to each side. Looking back over that shoulder, reach the arms forwards to come up and sit tall. We're gonna add one more level on, so roll it back. This time, just hold that C curve, that roll back. Exhale, you lift your right leg up and then lift your left leg up. So you're finding this little modified teaser. Bring the arms back across your chest. And again, we rotate. Seeing so if you can have those feet off the mat. So don't worry if you wanna take a previous option. You can modify by doing one of the previous exercises or seeing if you can take this little balance. Really tough. One more to each side, looking over that shoulder. Good, reach the arms forwards, hold the back of the legs, and then gently roll the rest of the way down through the spine and place your feet all the way down. Good, just let your body settle there and just take a nice bridge, lift the hips up in one piece and down, just a few bridges just to reset through the back, the hips. So just this hinging from the hip joints now, rather than articulating. Straight up, straight down. Good, firing up those glutes and hamstrings. And just holding it there at the top. And then just keeping your hips nice and still, just set your right knee open to the right. And close in. And left knee open to the left and close in. So a little knee drop, not letting the other knee move. Stay nice and calm. And then just bridging the hips all the way down. Good, stretch your legs out nice and long. We're just gonna finish with a roll up through the spine. Just gonna make sure we've got a nice amount of room. So legs nice and straight, arms reaching back, and then your full roll up here, rounding through the spine. Flex the feet as you reach past the toes. And then slowly rolling down as you point your feet away and lay back. So this is just about centering yourself, getting ready maybe for another activity, for more Pilates or just for your day. In a really calm, centered, stable way. Almost like your bread and butter, giving your body a little service. Like an MOT for your car. Just checking in. One more. We'll stay up on this last one. Flexing the feet back towards the face, stretching your hands past your toes, keeping them off the floor. And then re-step all the way up to seated. Just bringing your legs behind you, coming onto your all fours for a cat and extension. Rounding on the exhale and inhale, release the spine, arching gently, sending your breastbone forwards. Being really careful with your movements, really precise. And then just tuck your toes under and send your hips all the way up. Finding that downward facing dog, wrapping the shoulders in, lengthening those hamstrings. Walking the hands back towards the feet, bending your knees as much as you need to. 
and rolling up to standing, bringing your pelvis into neutral first, and then your lower back, your mid back, your upper back, your head and your neck. One more roll down. Exhale, start from the head. Try not to let the pelvis move until you have to. Fold at the hips as you go down. Inhale. Then just like you're stacking your spine anew. So think of having a completely new spine as you restack it, lengthening taller, gazing out along the horizon. Inhale as you draw your shoulders up. Maybe closing the eyes down again or keeping the gaze open. Last two, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release. And just prioritize that posture. Last one, inhale, shoulders to the ears. And exhale, release them down. Well done, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you on the mat again soon. Bye.